Hello, my name is Darren Colbert and I'm the lead engineer for SamePoint.com. Let's talk about the API. The API's entry point or endpoint is api.samepoint.net slash API. Authentication begins with app ID, which you are provisioned when you sign up for service, and an API key that you are able to create yourself. The variable here, Q, is the starting point for the API as it pertains to search. Search um, parameters inside the documentation, we will be able to sort of go through a lot of those different parameters, but for now we're just talking about the basic connection. Um, the search term immediately following Q is politics that we're looking at right now. Also when you see the format, we're going to format in JSON, and when we see here this abridged feature, this abridged feature, as it's set to false, means it's going to give everything in its verbose mode. If we set it to true, things will be shown in a very um, abridged or summarized mode. So let's look at the format and let's see what happens when you actually hit the send button. As it stands now, um, if we look at the format in JSON, you can see some of the information that's, that's captured in the header of the package. Um, the message is success, the number of items found, the format, the get, the timestamp, and so on and so on. In the main results, you can clearly see domain, the URL, the published date. If we have the author, we do show the author, the title, the content, if we have an image. The ID, very important. Each um, record um, contains a unique identifier. And keywords associated with the particular text and the type of site that it actually came from. If we look all the way down, we can actually see at the end a little bit of a summary inside the response that shows the sites, and it actually shows who the influencers were for that particular query. Each query comes with 25 records, and you have to paginate in order to get to the next ones. Pagination is not so hard. Because it starts at 0 to 25, if we set now, let's start at 25, we should be able to get more records coming down. And these are the new set of records. And we can keep doing that over and over and over again. That's a brief summary of how you connect to the API. Please look at the documentation and have fun.